Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought, since last week I did Ghostbusters Afterlife review of the trailer, I'm going to review uh, Top Gun Maverick. I had a new trailer that came out yesterday. I got to see it last night. I had a few thoughts on it. As we know, the original Top Gun came out in 86, starring Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, um, directed by Tony Scott. It was actually the movie that gave Tony Scott, it really gave him a directing career, because um, the movie was a huge hit, cultural phenomenon, uh, with the music, and just... It was a huge recruiting tool for the <clears throat> Air Force, too, and the Navy. Um, but Tony Scott went on to direct Beverly Hills Cop 2 after that. He did Crimson Tide, uh, Man on Fire. Um, was taking a Pelham 1, 2, 3. He did um, a, lot, a couple other movies with um, Denzel Washington. Um, and obviously Tom Cruise. This is the movie that really shot Tom Cruise into the A-list before this, he had Risky Business and All the Right Moves, but this is the movie to really put him on the map. And as we know, it was about these guys going to Top Gun to learn how to be the best fighter pilots in the world. And this trailer looks like they're, well, they're pulling a lot of the same themes. Um, looks like they're bringing Maverick back to Top Gun to teach these young pilots how to fight and be the best pilots they can be. Um, the trailer... Had all what you'd expect, some callbacks to the original. Tom Tom Cruise shot in silhouette several times. The music was there, definitely pulling on a nostalgia feeling. They show a quick scene of them, like the new recruits in the bar playing piano and on the beach with no shirts on playing some sport. So very definitely pulling strings from the original movie. Now sadly, Tony Scott was actually going to come back and direct this movie, but sadly he was in talks to come back. He was in talks with Jerry Brockheimer who produces the movie. And Tom Cruise, but sadly he committed suicide shortly after and he was unable to return to direct, which would have been nice, but unfortunately the man has passed away. Um, Joseph Kaninsky's coming to uh, be the director for this movie. Um, he worked with Tom Cruise on Oblivion and he also directed uh, Tron Legacy. And um, it's from the trailer, everything looks beautifully shot. All the. The flying looks practical. No CGI, at least that I could tell in the trailer. Which I know was one of Tom Cruise's demands if he was going to come back and do the sequel. That he did not want any of the flying done with CGI. He wanted real jets and real people in the jets. And actually, they delayed production on the movie so Tom Cruise could learn how to fly the fighter jets himself. And so they can figure out how to really make the flying scenes exciting. So that's very cool, and as we know, Tom Cruise goes the extra mile in his movies. There's a lot of his own stunts most of the time. I think the man is a death wish, but it's cool that he's willing to take those risks to do, put himself at the front and center in front of the camera, and you know it's him in there. Um, doesn't tell too much about the story. It looks like there might be some battle scenes, who, who they're fighting, who knows. Um, they're not really releasing much. They didn't give much away in the trailer. It's more just him showing up there, them giving him a job as an instructor, and showing some of the new pu young pilots. I know Miles Teller is in the movie. He's playing Goose's son, I believe. Jennifer Connelly's in there. I think she's the new love interest for Maverick. And it looks like a fun time with the movie. It's definitely callbacks to the original movie. Um, I'm excited to see it. I love the original movie in all its 80s glory. Um, so we'll see how it is. Um, I would assume Tom Cruise wouldn't have came back if it wasn't something worth doing. And Jerry Brockheimer came back to produce. Um, so it'll be interesting to see in June when it comes out. Um, but definitely, I think the trailer looks pretty cool. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's all over YouTube. It's not hard to find. It's on Facebook. Um, but yeah, I am excited about the movie. Uh, that's it for me. It's raining here in Raleigh, and I'm on, my, on to my next job. Have a great day, and I'll uh, be back soon. Thanks.